Hi, my name is Josh, and today I will be telling you guys how to um, prepare you for your digital climate control conversion in a 240SX. First, you're going to need digital climate control unit. You're going to need the uncut sub, sub harness and as you can see some tags are already on here because I've already modified it um, to get it ready for the car that it's going to go into. HVAC motor. And this is basically um, going to replace the temperature slider on the analog unit. You also need the outside ambient air temperature sensor. Now if you were lucky like I was and got this from a basically a front clip. You probably noticed on the front there was, you know, a lot of weird sensors hooked up. What you're actually looking for is this one in particular. And it should be approximately in the center by the core support, which is where you'll find this, and the harness, and the wiring. All the rest of this stuff you don't have to worry about. This is the aspirator hose. Um, I don't actually have the aspirator, which is basically the inside air temperature checker thing. Um, it was actually on the end of here, so it's somewhere on my in my garage, and I don't know where it is right now, but I will make a video or add to this one to show you guys what it looks like. And you also need the blower resistor looks like this. This basically drops into the place of your current one. You also need the sun load sensor. And this can also be obtained from, you know, mid-90s maxima, so 96 maxima. I'll walk you through the wiring right now. Alright, the wiring is actually very simple. and it can be done in basically several steps. Alright, onto the wiring. First step. You need to find a green and white striped wire. It needs to be run basically to ignition on and this wire can be moved to an empty spot on the large white 16 pin plug, which is this one right here. Um, the location, if you're looking at it, is top one, top right. And that just basically you depin that from this connector right here on one of these spots. Either the bottom right or the top left. However you're looking at it. So you just depin it from this plug and you plug it into here. Very simple. Second need to run the blue wire with a red stripe on the small 7 pin plug it needs to be run to ignition on. Uh, you can tie this uh, into the blue and red stripe wire on the blower motor. It's the easiest way to do that and that would be this wire right here. So what I did was I just depinned it and I marked it accessory on or switch, switch 12 volt. So I'll move that aside right now. Third, the solid red wire in the thick connector needs to be depinned, and this can be done by removing this uh, black cap, and then there will be a tab in there that you push down, and whenever you push that down, this one with a spade connector will slide right out. I conveniently mark that constant 12 volt because this will always need power. Fourth, label this wire right here, this black wire, which is located, if we were looking at it 
the way we modified this before, with this being the top right, the green and uh, white stripe wire, be on the bottom row, third wire in, it's black, label that ground using red yellow wire this meets with. Basically that means whenever you plug this in, the wire that this connects to will be red with a yellow stripe and that needs to be run to a ground. And that's basically all there is to the preparation of the, um, the actual harness. I went ahead and removed the glove box. Um, to remove the glove box, you just remove these two screws down here. And it'll come straight out once you open it up. Um, right now we're going to be removing this uh, resistor. For that, you need a Phillips screwdriver. You can go ahead and actually unplug it. right out. This is the old one and this is the new one. It only goes in one way. So. And it'll pop right back into place. plug straight back in. Next we're removing the center bezel. Um, the easiest way to do this is you can reach into the ashtray, pop up this first clip, and then it just all comes off. If you have anything attached to it, now it's time to remove it. start taking out this center unit. You will need to take out your radio. I mounted the siren unit actually with non-flush screws, which is why it, I had to pry it a little bit. Unplug your radio. And as you can see, the siren unit, I already had unhooked that, not hooked up. out, <clears throat> make it easier to see what's going on in there. 